welcome to Gma and Gpa Adventures are at the DMV. Yes. And why are we here today, Stan? We both got notices that our driver's licenses needed to be renewed. So we decided that while we're at it, we're just going to get them upgraded to the real ID. And why do we need the real ID? We're getting a real ID because effective May 3rd, 2023, you need a real ID to fly domestically, enter military bases or secure federal facilities if you don't have a passport. We do have passports, but we still want to go ahead and get this just to see what the experience is like and just to have it. And just in case the government decides to change something overnight, that everybody has to have it. Yes, things can change quickly, so we want to be prepared. We have to get licenses anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and get the real ID. We live in Illinois, and Illinois is one of the last states to really require the real ID. So they have a website that you can go to if you live in Illinois to figure this out because there's several things you have to bring with you. They give you this piece of paper that says everything, but the website is really clear. There's also a phone number if you don't have uh, internet. Yeah, and every state's going to have a setup like that. They're going to have a website for you to go to. Check out the requirements so you'll be prepared when you do go to your DMV. There's four groups of documentation that you have to bring with you to get the real ID. And what are some of those things you have to bring? Well, for the first one, you have to have proof of identity, date of birth, and U.S. citizenship or lawful status. And it gives you like different things that you can choose from. Um, the one that we chose was our U.S. passport. But if you don't have that, you can bring the certified copy of your birth certificate. So that'd be a real easy one. And you only have to have one of those documents. The next one is you have to show your, show your full social security number. And they don't want a copy of it. They don't want a cell phone picture of it. They want the actual social security card. You can also bring the most recent pay stub where it says a W-2. So there's a couple different things. The group three is residency. So you, it requires two of the documentations. The one we chose was our insurance policy. And then I have a medical claim or statement benefit within the last 90 days. You can bring a utility bill. A pension or retirement statement. It says even a report card from a grade school, high school, or college <laughs> university. Don't have a current one of those. And then group four was a written signature requiring one of the following documents, and one is the Illinois driver's license. So that's what we're going to provide. Yeah. So there's four groups of documentation required. I would assume you have a driver's license or at least an Illinois ID. That's what you would need. But it gives you, again, it gives you like different things to choose from. And one is like a U.S. military ID or a credit card or debit card. Yeah. So that would be easy for people to come up with too. So these things aren't really hard to provide or come by. You just have to get your paperwork together before you go to the DMV to get it processed smoothly. We think it's just going to be the fee required of $30 each. Yeah. But we'll find out for sure because I don't know if this was like a regular driver's license renewal. It <laughs> used to be 10 I think now it's 30 and the real ID isn't any higher, we're going to find that out. We're going to we find go out. It's probably similar in whatever state you live in. We're just using our state, Illinois, as an example. So we've got all our paperwork. We're going to go in. I'm sure they won't let us film inside, but we'll come back out and tell you how it went. And you need to get a photograph. So just like a regular driver's license. So just make sure you have your hair brushed and might want to brush your teeth. If you have hair. And if okay. you have teeth. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We did it. Got it done. Yeah. It took about 25 minutes for both of us, so it didn't take long. So as long as you had all the papers that you needed, he more or less, the guy that, that worked at the desk more or less shuffled through what he needed, I guess. He scanned all those documents. Then he went and had us get our picture taken. So it was pretty smooth. Oh, and then we signed the back of the of, of a form, and it was it was the thirty dollars a person. And it said we probably need to wait about fifteen days to get our actual real ID license in the mail. So what we got today was a temporary one, so we can use that until our real one comes, our real real ID comes. And as an update, it took thirteen days for us to get our new license, our real ID license. And really the only visible difference between our old license and the new one, the real ID, is the star in the upper right corner. 
If you get a new license and it's not a real ID, it will say federal limit supply at the top. And then that means you won't be able to fly domestically unless you have a passport. It's pretty nice. The main thing is to have your documents together when you go. And the form they sent us with our renewal has a checklist and it's pretty smooth. That enables you to fly on any domestic flight like we said. Of course you can do that if you have a passport, but if you don't have a passport you need this. And if your passport was expired, you'd need a real ID. So mm -hmm. it's good to have just in case. So it was real easy to do. We recommend you do it and we had no problems with the process. Right. Because you never know when you want to go somewhere. And stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment if you've already done this. And subscribe because it's free. And stay tuned for our next new adventure. Yeah. Always have something planned. Bye. Bye.